Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. If you can't already tell, we're doing another repot with me. Except we're not really doing a repot, we're kind of doing a depot, I guess you could say. So I have beside me two buckets of philodendron strawberry shake. They're kind of nice actually, but they're kind of huge. And essentially the tea is that they're all packaged in moss and cling film, if you would say, or I think in the US that would be serene wrap or something like that. I I don't really know. But we're gonna unpop those. It's gonna be a very chill video. That's kind of all we're gonna do. So in a moment, I'm gonna take these buckets down. We're just gonna lay the plants on the table and get the shit off them. What I should have done is I should have had a bucket for the shrapnel and I don't have it. So I'm actually probably just gonna have to splat it in a big pile behind me. So without further ado, let's get rid of these buckets. And we're just gonna pick them up. Now, the one thing I wish I had, and I mean I really wish I had, was gloves. I don't think I've got any on me. I did have some the other day, and I think they've gone walkabout, which really upsets me because I just get a bit weird about having shit on my hands. But we're just gonna have to deal with it. So I think by the time you guys see this, this will be after Christmas. So this is just before New Year. So you are getting a slightly more relaxed video today just because the Christmas grind just got a bit too much. You guys may know I haven't had the best sort of autumn era I guess you could say I've had a lot of shit going on. So we are doing a bit more of a chilled video today, but I do hope you've had a great Christmas since that's when you should be seeing this. I really, really do. No doubt I've had a great one. I will tell you my plans now, even though it is after the event, technically. My plans are to spend Christmas with my family. We've done Christmas a little bit differently this year. We haven't actually decided to buy each other Christmas presents. There is a gnat, piss off. There's a couple of reasons for that, really. A lot of it is financial, as you might imagine. Um, I've had to spend a lot of money recently on like horse-related stuff. There's the house, things like that. So I've had not a lot of cash. My parents have recently paid off their mortgage. So they're a little bit down on cash. Basically, without getting into detail, everybody's kind of down on cash. And I think we just wanted to do Christmas a little bit differently. So this year, apart from buying, I think my friend plus Ben Christmas presents, I haven't actually bought any Christmas presents, which is a little bit weird actually, because I, I'm not a materialistic person, but I get a lot of satisfaction from buying gifts for other people. It could even be my love language a little bit sometimes. 100% um, to be honest is just gift buying and being very generous. So I, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit sad that I haven't got to do that. Um, I don't mind about not getting anything. As I say, Christmas and, and gifts, they don't, that's not what it means to me. But that's what we've decided to do this year. So as of you seeing this, I should have had a nice Christmas. My parents will have been over for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and I think they're going on Boxing Day. So that'll be very nice. And then after that, as soon as Boxing Day hits, I don't want to say it's back to work, but I will be starting to think about work again. So I think by the time you see this, this is not good, by the way. These roots are really bad. I think by the time you see this, it should be, is it the 30th today? Could be, I'm guessing. So new year is coming. So I'll be thinking about new content. Hopefully my house will be ready enough to start filming some new content and all will be well. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put the moss in this old bucket because I just, it just feels right, you know? It just feels right to put the moss in there. And then we'll put the plastic down there so that I can get rid of it, like so. So that's my plan, really. It's just gonna be very, very chill, just be around family, things like that. I bought some of my favorite cheese that I only eat once a year because it's cheese, if you feel me. Um, so I've ordered some cheese from my favorite place in Scotland to buy cheese from. <laughs> I don't know why it's Scotland, other than I first had this cheese in Scotland and I loved it so much. It's a type of brie, um, which is like fast becoming one of my favorite cheeses, brie and camembert. And no doubt you might be thinking, oh, because you probably had loads of it at Christmas if you like it. But there is a place, I think it's called George Muse in, I'm presuming Edinburgh. They do a brie there and I swear to God, it is the nicest brie in the world. So I've ordered some of that. It comes, I think it might even come tomorrow as I'm filming this. Um, remember, you're seeing this like way later. So actually, I'll put that there. Is that annoying? No, it's okay. So I'm going to be having a little bit of that um, and just just generally spending time with family. Really, that that's all I need from Christmas. That's all I need from Christmas. I just need I just need simplicity. You know, I just need simplicity. So I have a tree up in the house and stuff like that, but there's no presents under it. But I don't mind. It's just 
different. It's not bad, it's just different, right? Gifts don't mean anything. The gifts that you get at Christmas are the people close to you and, you know, being with those around you sort of thing. Um, I did get, I mentioned Christmas on, I can't remember which video, it was probably the last repot with me or I've mentioned it on another video and there was somebody that said, um, sorry, I cannot remember who you are, how are you celebrating Christmas if you're not Christian? And I don't know if it's just a British thing or whatever, but in the UK, there aren't many Christians in the UK, I don't think. I don't know what the ratio is. Personally, I'm an atheist, um, but we've always celebrated Christmas. Christmas just means something slightly different to us, I suppose. We celebrate it, we get fat, we spend time with family, we exchange gifts, and that's it. That's what Christmas is to us. It's just a nice... Um, cozy, comforting time of year. So we do celebrate it. I know a few people were kind of confused by that. I assume that's just, maybe it's a UK thing. Let me know if you're in different countries and it's, it's different for you. But yeah, there's literally, I think most of Britain tends to celebrate Christmas. It's kind of, it is what it is. This smell of this moss is a bit, it doesn't smell like moss, it almost smells just like cardboard, it's really weird. It is moss, I assure you it is moss, but it doesn't really smell like moss, you feel me? So yes, that's what I will have done by the time you watch this, and hopefully I am very well rested and all is well, because next year, as I've said before, um, and I probably will do a separate like New Year's video, um, just like a channel update video, I might do that once a year, but I'm going to be working hard on, on other, not other channels, but you know what I mean, I'll be doing a lot more on the internet, um, appearing on my socials more and all the rest, but I will save that for another video because I will probably do a dedicated one. Just giving you an update on what my plans are, basically, because I've always said once I've moved, I'll be able to do more things, so that's good. Right, that's another one done. I'm not really doing anything with these roots, guys. Um, I'm just kind of leaving them, but let me tell you now, they have not traveled amazingly. They've taken a bit of a hit. It's a good root system, but that only traveled amazingly, so just keeping them down here. I'll keep them out of the bucket for now, and I think once I've done them, I'll put them back in the bucket. I think that's probably the best way. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's really cute. Look at this one. This one's nice. We like this. Right, I have a couple of questions from you guys. I don't have a ton of questions because I've actually put this out last minute. The, you know, when I put that little question box on Instagram and I go, give me your questions. I've done that really last minute, so I don't have many for you. What have I got? First question, what other plant chores will be in the GoPro content? So you should maybe know by now, hopefully there are two GoPro videos on the channel. At the time of recording this, there's one, but I'm pretty sure there'll be two by the time you see this video. Long story short, I got the idea to start experimenting with the GoPro and doing plant show videos, because I know that's quite popular on YouTube, but I wanted to do it in my own way. And my own way, I decided, was going to be with a GoPro point of view. I've done one video today, but as I say, you guys will have seen a second one, and I haven't filmed that yet, so a lot of what I'm saying might be out of date, but I'm basically experimenting with that at the moment. I'm not filming the videos with too much of an intent on what I'm doing in the video. I'm just trying to get the format right, so, and again, you probably know this, the first video I did for the GoPro was using just not normal GoPro settings, but it was a little bit more out of the box. I put a camera on my head and I filmed for you guys, which is up on my channel if you want to see it. Um, after that, I know for a fact what I'm going to do before you see it. I am going to mount the camera to my chest this time. So I have a chest mount, it's like a little harness that goes around, and I'm going to do the next video, which you may have seen that way. So that is the difference. If you've seen these two videos and you think, hey, something's different, that's what's different. The camera will be on my chest. And that's mainly because a lot of people were complaining about motion sickness maybe and stuff like that, which I'm a little bit surprised about because seriously, if there's somebody that gets really motion sick, it's me with a lot of things and I was fine, but that's okay. So we're going to try it on the chest and hopefully you will have given me your feedback right now. Again, I'm saying all of this in advance. Um, what else? Yeah, so in terms of the content of those videos, really, guys, it's like anything. You shape the content, so you tell me what you want to see. A lot of it might be repotting, and there might be a lot more lecker involved. Now, I know, <laughs> I know that a lot of y'all do not like the lecker noises, because I have some down here as it happens, um, but it, it's a plant show. I can't really do my chores in here without having a bit of lecker on the go. I will do my best to keep that to the minimum, but there's probably some repotting. There will be some propagating and stuff like that. Just the stuff that you'd expect to see me do in this shop, that's what I would be doing. 
You know what I mean? At some point, it's a big job, but I'm going to do it. And no doubt you'll see it. It's a boring job, but the chat is what makes it right. These trays here, they do tend to get algae in them every so often. So you have to take like a scrubbing brush that you do your dishes with kind of thing. Not the exact brush you do your dishes with, but you know what I mean? And you rinse them out and everything else. And you can flush out all the pots with clean water as well and then pop them back in, rearrange them, do whatever, um, that kind of thing. There are a lot of uh, trays in here. So that takes some time. So that's one job that has to be done. Um, there's going to be a lot of propagating. There's going to be some rearranging. Um, just stuff like that, really. Anything that you would expect me to do in here, that's basically what I'm doing in here. You can shape the content, of course. Um, just let me know. There will be some stuff upstairs, like I need to do a few things in there. In fact, you might have already seen that. I don't know. I haven't filmed it yet. But there will just be bits and bobs. So that's essentially what the GoPro content is. I don't think I want to go out, you know, plant shopping or anything with a GoPro on because... I just feel like that's a little bit more invasive on people, whereas at least in here, right, I can do whatever I want with the GoPro. This is my unit. So I will see what I come up with in due course. Like maybe in time, we might have some cool ideas and I'm like, right, cool, yeah, let's do that. But for now, it is literally what it says on the tin. It's just me chilling out, chatting away, all the rest, and uh, doing bits and bobs, I suppose. Nothing flash, nothing fancy. It's not high edited content. The quality is going to be as good as I can get it. So I was going to be filming today, and I don't know if you can tell how dark it is in here, but it is right now, it is 10 to four, and it's, it's almost pitch black outside. So I've lost too much light to film with a GoPro now. It wouldn't be enough. So I will have to do that tomorrow or the next day. So I need to be really careful about when I film, so. But yeah, it will be as good as quality as I can get. Believe me when I tell you that I've been looking at all the YouTube videos for the GoPro settings and everything like that. And I'm constantly tweaking it, trying to figure out what is better. For example, I know that GoPros generally aren't great in low light. I get that. And they can tend to get a bit grainy. But if you try to fix, and I will just say this in layman's terms, if you try to fix the graininess when it's in the dark, you can lose some stabilization in the process. And it's all kind of a bit of a gamble. I don't know of any other activity cameras or whatever you want to call them that are now better than the GoPros. As far as I know, GoPro is still the best thing. Obviously, I also already have a GoPro. I have a GoPro 8. So that's what I'm actually using for those videos. So I'm, I'm hoping to improve. Oops, that's my fault. Did you hear that? Oops, that's a real shame. That's really pretty. Look at that. Oopsie. But I'm hoping to improve you know, video upon video. So please bear with me on that. We will crack it eventually. And honestly, when it gets to spring next year or it just starts getting less dark, the quality will be better anyway because there'll be more light in the unit. So you can expect it to get a lot better. I can do a lot more chores like outside when I rinse things out and I can propagate outside. I can do a few more things. Um, you're just gonna have to kind of bear with me while there is no light. So that's one of the problems that I have at the moment. But I will be looking into fixing that. But yeah, an answer to your question, it is what it says on the tin. It's just plant chores, really. Um, if you've got any suggestions, obviously leave them in the comments of this video, and I will, of course, take a look. I do read the comments. I just can't reply to everybody because it gets a bit much. But I promise you I do read them. I really do. So, this still smells really musty. It's not, it's not a horrible smell. It's just weird. It's just weird. I don't, I'm not loving it. I'm not going to lie. Right, okay. Next question is... Oh, this is a good one. Is there an update on the bad seller story or the scammer or whatever you want to call them? So let me just rewind and fill you in. You may remember, oh, it could be two months ago now. It could be nearly three months ago. I told you guys about a story where I bought some really big plants actually off a supplier and they sent them. They had pests on them. They were not prepared to send me plants again and they weren't prepared to give me my money back. Basically, they had pests on, so they were quarantined. Sorry, I skipped a step, and then they, I, I, could, I couldn't get the plant. I don't know why I'm struggling to explain this. You guys have heard this story before. I couldn't get the plant. Um, I left you guys where I made the seller, essentially, I had to get a bit rough with them and not threaten them, but we had to be very stern with them, going, look, send it again, or I'm gonna have to say something to my following, because I can't have people do this to buyers, because it could be you guys, right? And it was quite a bit of money. Um, they then sent it again, and there was pests on it again. So we were going to sort it out with the seller, 
but the seller basically blocked us, I think, and that is the current status. So I gave them one last chance on my social media, which I did not want to do. And a few of you may have saw it on Instagram, but I basically said something along the lines of, listen, you've got about 24 hours or 48 hours or something like that to make this right and unblock us, or I'm going to tell everybody everything. They didn't get back to me. I absolutely have every intention of making that video. I just haven't been able to do it. And the only reason is time and it will come. So not that that supplier is watching, but don't worry, they will have their day because I'm going to make that video. Probably might be planning it now as we speak because just after Christmas and I'll be getting back into work. Basically, Ben has been dealing with the supplier the whole time, not me. So I had to get a load of chats and things like that from Ben because there's no way I'm going to tell you a story and not back up my end of it, right? So I want you to see the chats between Ben and the seller. I want you to see the failed inspections. I want you to see all of it. I want you to see all of that. So, because I'm not giving this supplier a chance to wriggle out of it and tell me I'm lying. We're not doing that. So I just need a bit of time to put that together, but you'll absolutely get it, 100% guys. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be in a report. It might just be me sat down because I think I need to concentrate a little bit more because it's not something where you wanna say the wrong thing or get something wrong or give someone an opportunity to misconstrue what you're saying. It's quite serious, obviously, because I am putting someone on blast for pissing me around, basically. So I will be doing that. I have absolutely not forgotten about that. The supplier still has not talked to us. So at present, the supplier thinks he totally got away with it, but you haven't got away with it. I'm gonna make that video. So you can expect it in January, um, and I will let you know on socials prior to it coming out, but you can absolutely expect it in January because you don't do that to people and get away with it because although I can recover from something like that, you guys at home might not be able to, or if you're a fellow shop, maybe you can recover from that, maybe you can't. And this is kind of the thing, right? So, and I've, I've, I have explained this before in videos, but I'm just, there's got to be a line where I have discretion and then a line where I have to step over that line and go, no, you've, you've crossed that line and you can't do this. And I can't protect people that do this to people. And it, it is a hard line to walk, guys, because a lot of people say, well, just out them, out them, out them. You know what I mean? But then there's other people going, well, no, that's a person with, you know, their own business and their own work and, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, where's the line then? Where's the line? So I came to that decision a while ago. And I know I told you guys that I will be basically telling the story of this person and I will reveal who they are. So that is absolutely coming. I just, <laughs> I didn't realize there was that much chat basically between Ben and this person. So I need to go through it and condense it down and, and give you a detailed account of what's happened. I've seen all of the inspection certificates and everything like that. I've got all those. It's more just the chat. I didn't realize that there was that much chat. So I have to kind of wade through it, get the bits that I'm happy with um, and everything else and put it together cohesively for you because what I'm saying is quite serious. I, I intend to take it very seriously. So thank you for asking me about the update on that. And I don't think you're the only person. I think a few people have asked, but that is basically it. I've absolutely not forgotten. Basically, as soon as I was going to be doing all this, the horse thing happened, didn't it? And that's just completely and utterly put me back this year. Like you would not believe how many things have not got done um, since the whole horse thing occurred. Um, I'm, I'll not go into that because a lot of you know what that is. And if you don't, you can probably find it on my channel or someone can direct you or whatever. So yeah, that's the plan. There's absolutely a plan to make that video and it will occur, guys. I just, it's, it actually takes a lot to plan. And I do need to take it very seriously because it is of a serious nature. So if anyone happens to know the supplier that I'm on about, which is very unlikely, it's like a needle in a haystack, uh, you can let them know that the video is coming. And there is still actually time to unblock me. Not that I expect you would because this was months ago. And by now you probably think you've got away with it. I appreciate that. That's my fault. I should probably stop making people think then get away with things. But no guys, you will absolutely get that video. 100 million percent. I would not worry about it. You will get it. What time are we on? Because I still have to start and stop this thing manually. 20 minutes. Okay, we've got a bit more. Right, so uh, what else have we got? I've just put water all over my questions. Oh, a really random question was what filming equipment do you use? And I thought that was interesting. I don't often get asked that anymore. I don't really know why that is. I think there's a time when a lot of people used to ask it, but I think it was in like 2020 when a lot of people were starting channels. Um, I won't bore you, but because I know a lot of people do not care what filming equipment I use, and that is absolutely valid. I use a DSLR to film 
all these videos. Sorry, it's really noisy outside. There's some idiot driving around. I use DSLR to film. I think it's a Canon 90D is what I'm using. I can't remember what exact lens I'm using, but it's a Sigma lens on that, and it's a really nice lens. I used to have, well, I still have loads of different lenses, but as soon as I got that lens, I got it for Christmas, I think two years ago, I've never come back to another lens. I've never needed to because the aperture range on that's really good. The lens size is really good. The focal length, sorry. Um, it's just all really good. So I can just configure that lens. It's great. It's very heavy, but it's great. Microphones. I use Rode mics. I love Rode mics. I absolutely love Rode mics. So I use those. In terms of the editing, I use all of the Adobe software. Um, I pay for that each month. It's kind of like my channel's like running cost. A lot of people think it doesn't cost anything to run a YouTube channel. It can be free, so I don't want to put people off. But if you want to get really good quality and, and all the rest, you kind of do need to pay for it a little bit. My channel costs definitely triple figures to run each month. Believe it or not, there's something you probably didn't know. And most of that's just subscriptions to software, stock music, stock um, videos and stuff like that that you've seen in my videos. All of that is paid for. So I subscribe to that. So that actually costs a little bit of money. But yeah, the Adobe suite, love it. It's got a steep learning curve on it if you've previously used other software, but it's worth it. If you can just devote a little bit more time to it and get to know it, it honestly, it is worth it. It was really difficult for me when I started learning because I was using, when I first started my channel, I was using software called Sony Vegas um, and I made the decision to switch. It's one of the best things I've ever done. But when I was switching, when I was editing a video each week, like way back when in like 2019, it was real difficult, guys. It took me about three times as long to edit. And that's when I had a full-time job as well. But I don't regret it because it's a very, very, very powerful program. Very, very powerful. I love it. And once you learn how to do the basics, you can build on that. Like sometimes even now, if I'm doing some kind of edit on, on a video or something, I have to look up how to do something and it might take 40 minutes. I did that for the last dish of the dirt, actually. There's a few things I had to look up how to do. But then you learn, then next time you might need to look it up to remember, but generally you just learn new stuff. So it's really, really good. I'm very happy with that. So yes, in a nutshell, that's what I use for your top. But yeah, I feel like the only people that tend to ask that, to be honest, are either, you know, like YouTubers or like there's a reason, like you use that software or you use that, you use cameras or something. I'm not sure it's what normal people use. In terms of lighting, and I'm sure if you guys have seen one of the GoPro videos, you'll have seen it. They're just really cheap soft boxes. I have one here, one here, and then where you guys are, there is a ring light sat just above the camera, maybe about, well, it's attached to the back of the camera really, so it's just above the camera. Um, and that is my lighting right now. So that is that. Lighting, guys, you can get it really cheap, really cheap. Don't spend too much money on lighting. It's really easy. You don't need to at all. These are really juicy. I'm not I'm not loving it, guys. I'm not loving it. You, I don't know if you can see the remnants of a plant haul that I did before this video with Ben. Um, but that's what's left there. Sorry, I'm trying to tuck my hair behind me without... Ugh, without touching anything. Let's start and stop this camera because I don't want to miss anything at all. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, should have tied my hair back, you know. But these are really nice, are they not? They're really nice. They've traveled quite well. The roots aren't, they're not amazing, but they're all right. Right, so next question. Oh, oh, it's not a question. It's just something that I want to tell you guys and it was really shit, actually. And it happened to me a couple of days ago, but I was sort of robbed. Uh, not ideal. Basically, and I would love to have sympathy for people, but I just, I can't, I can't, because it was something that was done to me and I'm annoyed about it, right? So forgive me if I'm not super, super understanding of stuff, but I was basically robbed a couple of days ago. They broke into the car. I don't drive, but I have a car, long story short. Uh, ben drives it round and they broke into the car at about 2.30 in the morning. And I don't usually leave my purse in there. There's a really specific set of circumstances that led to me leaving my purse in there, guys. But I left my purse in the car. It wasn't in view. The person had to fumble to get to it. But essentially, they stole my purse. And it had money in it. It had all of my cards in it. It had just little things that I care about. It had loyalty cards in it. It had... Loads of receipts relating to Oggy, Bobby, 
for my court case because I was told to hold on to the receipts, so I did. Um, it has a receipt in there for a deposit for Christmas dinner because we're eating Christmas dinner out at a restaurant on Christmas Day, so that's my proof that I've booked it. That was in there. Um, as I'm filming this, it's not Christmas yet. Obviously, now it's after Christmas. Hopefully that went smoothly. So I've, I've lost a load of stuff, basically. Long story short, I found out because my neighbor came to me the next day. Obviously, I'm unaware anything's being taken at this point. And my neighbor came to me the next day, introducing himself, and they're like, hi, how are you, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, listen, I've got some really bad news for you. You've been broken into. Told me about it. And they'd recorded it on their ring doorbell. Because it turns out they're kind of opposite to me, but they're quite far away. They're kind of like on a corner and I'm sort of facing the corner. So if they're like that on this corner, I'm sort of over here facing them sort of thing. But basically their doorbell caught the whole thing. Um, they rang the police or someone else did. Sorry, that's the wall. But the police just did not get there in time. So the person got away. And basically what she told me was the, it's so cute actually. So it turns out all my neighbors are in this WhatsApp chat that I'm now in um, and they've been doing like their own little neighborhood watch because there are people going around our estate trying to get into cars and, and basically rob them. As far as I know, no one's tried to get into anybody's house yet, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Now, I'm assuming this has occurred because it is Christmas time and this is where I was kind of like, hey, disclaimer, I'm not gonna be too sympathetic here because I'm not. What's happened is really irritating. Basically, I think it's happened because people are getting desperate around Christmas time. They're either getting desperate around Christmas time, which I'm willing to accept, or they're taking advantage because it's Christmas time and they're trying to get extras. So I'm, I'm gutted because I've had to cancel all my cards. I've lost money that was in the purse. I've lost some really important receipts that I needed, including one for Christmas Day that I haven't tried to sort out yet because I've been so busy. But I need to go to the restaurant and basically explain everything and hope that they're fine. Otherwise, we're not really eating much on Christmas Day. I'm having to borrow the money to pay for that Christmas meal because I don't think I will get my cards in time, being that they're due to come on like Christmas Day. So there you go. It, it's just been a nightmare. Not only that, but... I haven't done the shopping for Christmas and all the food in the house. Minus some cheese that I ordered in advance, guys. I haven't done the shopping yet. So I've got kind of no access to any of my money or anything. And I have to get stuff for Christmas. Like, it's kind of lucky that I didn't have to get Christmas presents because I couldn't have bought anything online because I do all my shopping online. So it's been a bit shit and I could have done without it, to say the least. But, and I was going to do this anyway because, long story short... Pfft, I'll make it even shorter. There's, I know of a few people out there that I'm maybe not on best terms with, shall we say. So when I moved house, I was always going to get some kind of security. Um, I didn't do it too quickly because as you guys know, I had cash flow problems and everything else, as I've explained with the whole horse thing. Um, basically just ran out of cash, was moving house, loads of other stuff was happening. I just didn't have quite time to get my home security sorted out. So I'm now sorting that out, as you can imagine because I do live by myself and we don't want none of that, you feel me? So I'm having to sort that out as well. It's a little bit difficult because all my fucking cards have been canceled, right? So just having a little bit of a nightmare, to be honest. It's not the end of the world. I'm thankful for what hasn't happened, if you know what I mean. It could have been a lot worse, could have been a lot worse. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that it stops. Um, I have reported to the police, obviously. Police won't do a damn thing. They won't do a damn thing. Because basically they said, look, this is happening kind of in loads of different places. And if you've got five sort of reports in your area, but someone else has 15, obviously we're short. We're going to send everyone to the 15. And I understand that. But that's basically just for you guys. Because I know someone's going to be like, well, have you reported? What did the police say? What can they do? Blah, 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 blah. Now, it might be different for you guys in the US. I know your police are a little bit more proactive sometimes. Over here, trust me. Not blaming them because I understand there are shortages, but the police here don't really get much opportunity to turn up places. Honestly, they don't. There's very few occasions where I've rang police for something and they've actually turned up in, in a timely manner. Um, so it's, it's not ideal, guys. But yeah, that happened the other day. So I had loads of sentimental stuff like that and it's all gone. I don't have any of it anymore. Um, 
I fully expect whoever has taken it has probably dumped the, the card, the wallet sort of thing, but I'll never find it. Obviously, my identification was in there as well. Um, it's just been a fucking nightmare, guys, honestly. So I'm, I'm really annoyed by it. It could have been worse. Again, it could have been worse. So I'm thankful for that. But <sighs> honestly, can this year, can this year, and I, I know we're nearly there, we're nearly fucking there. But next year needs to not be this shit for me. It needs to not be this shit for me. Um, it might be. It might be. Um, but I hope it isn't. Because, not to give you an update as such, but in terms of the whole horse thing, um, I did get a response back from the seller. I nearly said their name there. I nearly said their name. I did get a response back from them. And I have had a call with my solicitor. And I've had a quote for legal proceedings. And let's just say it wasn't great. It was, yeah, it was a whole thing. I'm not going to go into it because I want to give you a whole update video on it because I have I have so much to update you on. A lot's happened. So I want to do that. But just know that's kind of, that's part of the reason why I'm saying can this year just be fucking done? Because I want, I want to rerun. I want to respawn. <laughs> I want to start again. Um, I want to restart the level. You know what I mean? It's like playing a platformer and then you fuck up and you're like, fuck that, I'll restart the level because I made one mistake. So it's kind of what I feel like, except I haven't really made one mistake as such. There's been a plethora of, of things, but that's what I'm after doing. So yes, sorry, that's not a very positive update. Being robbed, it's not, it's not, it's not. I appreciate that. I'm trying to just be kind of like, oh, well, okay, moving on. How do we fix this? How do we prevent this? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, don't worry, I do keep my doors locked and everything. <laughs> do not worry there. Um, and luckily, the I will say one thing, the neighborhood chat is... Oh, I haven't met any of these people. I met one person out of this group chat that we're all in because there's only one of the neighbors that came to me and that was the one that was opposite me. Um, and they're all really nice. They're all really, really nice. So I'm pleased for that. Um, I did have CCTV of the person doing this, by the way, and that has been given to the police. But... You can't see much. And I can't show you the CCTV because I've been asked not to. Um, not that my neighbours have any clue on what I do because I do not tell people. But they basically said, just don't share it on social media. And I assume that's because the angle of where it is, you can see whose house it is. So I totally get that. That's probably why they don't want me doing that. But yeah, I got to see CCTV of the whole event. Um, the person was very pleased with myself. With myself? They were very pleased with themselves, I think, when they'd taken something. I couldn't tell what it was on the video. Basically, my neighbor was like, they've taken something, they've taken something. I was like, but I don't leave anything of value in there. So I don't know what they could have really taken. And I'll explain why the purse was in the car, shall I? I'll explain why I was in the car because I know a lot of you are like, yo, why was your purse left in the car? And I, I feel you guys, that's a fucking great question. So it was left in the car because in a nutshell, I was at my livery. I had on, I had that heated jelly on, I had this very outfit on, as it happens. I'm in sort of horse gear, sort of gym gear. There's a blend. I had this outfit on. I had my heated gilet over the top with the battery pack. That's really cool. It's from Amazon, by the way. I know a few people are asking me where that's from. There's tons of them on Amazon. I had my Ariat jacket over the top, and I was basically walking around like a big balloon. I had really big fleecy thermal gloves on. I had my hat on. And I had a few things in my pocket. I had to go out and buy something horse related at the shop on my way to the livery. So that's the, that's the journey I did. And it was, if the weather's been so horrific, if you're in the northwest of the UK, maybe it has it elsewhere as well. I don't know. Um, but the weather's been so horrific. It was snowing. It was windy. It was rainy. It was shit. So I was trying to do stuff with my hands. So I had to take off these big fleecy thermal gloves and put them in my pocket. And I could not do that because my pockets were stuffed full of a phone, full of a power pack, some Invisalign stuff. Um, I have some lip balm in there. Like I carry the bare minimum, but at the time I was literally packed out. So I took the purse out because it was the easiest and safest thing to take out. And I put it in the car so that I could put the gloves in my pocket and I could be comfortable doing what I needed to do at the livery. That's why it was in the car. So I put it in the car. I didn't put it in plain sight because I'm very forward thinking about stuff like that. I put it out of the way in the car. And unfortunately, by the time I got back in, which was maybe about an hour later, 
I'd kind of forgotten that I'd taken the purse out of my pocket and put it in the car. So when I got home, I was absolutely freezing, despite my heated gilet, because once I've chilled through, I'm quite difficult to warm back up. So by the time I got back and got into the house, it's not a thought that I had to get the purse, because I just it just slipped my mind. I'm very distracted lately, got a lot going on. I just didn't think about it. I bought the thing I needed to buy. I didn't have Christmas presents to buy. Do you know what I mean? There wasn't a lot to attach me to in terms of my cards and everything else. So I just didn't think, didn't think when in the house. And again, it wasn't in view. It was sort of tucked away because I'm not that stupid. So it was just really annoying because I, I don't, I don't leave my shit in the car, guys. I know better. The only thing I might leave in the car is a duffel bag full of gym gear or there's a riding hat in there or there's a spare jacket or something like the usual shit that you dump in your car. It's, there's nothing of value in the car. Um, I say that my sunglasses were in the car, as were Ben's and my sunglasses are worth a little bit of money. So if the robber actually knew where to look, guys, they, they would have had a, a good yield. They, uh, they didn't take the, sunglasses, which I think mine are about, they're about 200 pounds. They're a pair of Oakley's, they're really, really nice. Ben had a pair of Ray-Bans in there. So technically there's a bit of money there. Um, I have, so stupid, I have a water bottle for the gym. It's a Hydro Spark water bottle. That's worth about 90 quid, something like that. It's worth a little bit of money. Um, so there was kind of value in the car, but not obvious value. Like I have a duffel bag in there that's from Timberland. It's a really beautiful leather one. I always use it, well, I did used to use it when I would go somewhere nice. It's leather, it's really pretty. Um, that was 250 pounds, I bought that like three years ago, don't get me wrong. That was in the back seat. So if the person had had style, they would have got a higher yield, but instead they just took the wallet, the purse, whatever you want to call it. Um, ben had a Christmas card from his family in the front of the car that was just rifled through. Um, obviously they're looking for money and stuff like that. So yeah, they got quite a bargain with my purse because there wasn't a ton of money in there, but there was some. Um, just if I have to pay for things like the farrier at my livery, they tend to take cash. So I tend to have to have chunks of money for the farrier and stuff like that. So just bits and pieces. When I've done riding lessons in the past, I've paid in cash as well. Um, so I, I don't have a ton of cash in my purse, but I have a bit. So. Uh, I, I'm annoyed. I would have been less annoyed if it wasn't the week of Christmas where I need the card to buy my family lunch on Christmas Day. You feel me? So right now I'm having to buy, uh, to buy. I'm having to borrow the money from Ben until I get access to my accounts. I don't want to go to a bank um, and take out loads of money or anything like that. I don't like doing that. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to avoid doing that for the sake of getting some shopping in and, and paying for a meal kind of thing. So I'm basically just going to borrow the money from Ben and pay him back. So that's a bit shit. That's my uh, admittedly not pos uh, positive update. I, I do get that, but it, it is news. And I know you guys, a lot of you do say that you care about my life. So there's just one more fucking thing <laughs> to end off this year with. Literally. Literally. So when I say I'm done, guys, I literally mean I am fucking done with this year. So do you have any mock this, John? What does that say? Oh, there's been another disaster. I ain't even done. I ain't even done. Literally, 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 I ain't even done. So something else happened last week and it was shit and I lost sleep over it. Let me tell you what that is, shall we? Because honestly, guys, I'm telling you this in jest. Don't worry. Please don't be um, feeling really upset for me because however bad I have it, there's so many people out there that have it a lot worse. So don't be offended at my jest. Sometimes that's how I get through things. And this, this was another thing that happened. And, uh, I did this one. Me, me, I did this. So do you remember the GoPro video? The first one. They, as I say, there might be a second one on the channel now, but the first one where I did. Am I, if you've seen it, I told you in the video what I was going to do after that video. And I said, look, I'm leaving the unit after this. I have shit to do. And one of those things was shopping for Christmas food, which I didn't fucking do. And if I'd done it, I wouldn't be in this problem. I would have food in my fridge for Christmas and this would be less shit. That's a lot of rain. That's not good. So yes, in that video, I said unto you, hey, I'm going to do some Christmas shopping. I'm going to do some stuff. All is well. Well, it fucking wasn't. Because what happened was I left the unit 
I left the unit and you're thinking, yes, that's what you said you're going to do. Yes, I leave the unit many a time after I've finished here. That's generally what I do. I leave the unit. But the thing you don't know is, you might know, I don't know. When I film, <laughs> there's things I have to turn off in here. Now, I don't turn off the wall, hence the wall always annoys me. And I'm sure at some point in this video, it's due to come on again. So that's going to be noisy. I have to turn off usually the fan. There's a big fan in the center of this unit that blows all the air around. And I have to turn off the two heaters. And you will have occasionally heard me turn them off in videos. I think the last report with me, I had to turn them off. So in fact, I think that's when I turned them off because I did the GoPro video after the report or after something. I can't remember. But I turned them off. What I didn't do, guys, was turn them back on. So I left here without any circulation, not too much of a big deal, but it's fine, but without any heating. And this, if anyone would like to know in the UK, this was before all of the snow arrived. And over the course of about four days, because that's about how long I was gone. I didn't come back the next day, did I? No, I was too busy. No, 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 no. I came back about four or five days later, guys. And in that time, when we hit minus numbers outside, there was no heating on in here. This is just an external, you've seen it before, if you've seen the documentary, it's just a warehouse and I have to heat the shit out of it. And yes, it does cost a lot. So yeah, the heating never got turned on and I wish I had an external monitor. I used to in the old shop, I used to have a little sort of Wi-Fi, you know, thermometer, hygrometer thing and it, I could see on my phone the temperature. Now, if I'd had something like that, which I used to, it broke. I would have gotten alert and I would have known something was wrong. So that's, again, something I now need to do. And I do suggest you do that if you have a similar setup to me. They don't cost much off Amazon. So yeah, I wasn't aware of it. And the unit dropped from, what is it now? We're keeping it purposely lower now. It's actually kept at 20 degrees now, um, which I will get onto that in a moment. But it must have dropped from about 24. And it got as low as, I think, 5 degrees in here. Maybe 8. Can't remember. Uh, yeah. So the plants in here were fucking freezing. So essentially what happened was, minus the root disturbance, the plants in here underwent shipping almost, every single plant uh, for a period of a few days. Now, that was really shit. Uh, ben came in and found it, you see, and I was, I was very apologetic. I think all I did was say sorry for like two days straight. And I was obviously shitting myself because my entire livelihood is in here. And it's not ideal. And I've already had other problems in here. If you remember the wall breaking and going off, now it looks like shit. That was another problem. So that has happened. But what I would like to relate it to, guys, is I know a lot of us are very concerned at the minute about our plants in winter. Certainly a lot of us in the UK with the energy prices and everything else. Yes, it shifts awful. Literally, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm on commercial rates, guys. So if you think you feel bad, this shit's uncapped. I think domestic rates in the UK are capped at like three or four times or something. Commercial isn't, so that's fun. But um, yeah, anyway, so my point is there's a lot of yellowing around. You might not see it, but I promise you it's there. There's bits of yellow. Things are looking generally a bit, ugh, a bit shit. But I'm here to tell you that they're not dead. Um, some of them look like it never happened, if you're curious. Some of them just look a bit beat up, but a lot of them generally are all right. And I kind of wanted to relate it to, you know, maybe what you should do with your plants and what what I would say is still okay to have your plants at in winter. Now, obviously, this sort of thing is somewhat related to humidity as well. Temperature and humidity are kind of linked. So just take what I'm saying with a little bit of a pinch of salt. But generally, these plants can live at a much lower temperature than you think they can. So I'm not saying they can do five degrees. They, they can't really, but they can go down quite a lot. I mean, a monster at Thai probably could. A monster at the Lysios, a big one, probably could. Um, but they can, they can tolerate a lot more than you think they can. So I have no intention of taking this unit above 20 for the winter. That's that. If they die or there is a problem, they die and there's a problem, I'll turn up if I have to. But I have no intention of doing any more than that. For you guys at home, I've heard um, 17 degrees is fine, um, 16, I think I've even heard 15 degrees is all right. Will your plants be thriving and growing quickly? No, 
No, they won't. But will they die? Probably not. No. The only thing you have to watch out, obviously, is the central heating, but I know obviously a lot of us are turning it off. I've, I'm in a really weird position with mine. I don't have plants in my house yet. It's part of the reason why I'm waiting, to be honest, may as well. Um, I don't really know what to heat my house at because I don't know what the bills are. I have no baseline. So I'm keeping my house at 20 degrees at the moment, um, which I actually don't know how that compares. And there's absolutely no shame if anybody's keeping it higher or lower than that. Please don't feel embarrassed. I've, I know people that are keeping their house at about 17. I saw someone on TikTok the other day that's keeping their house at like 12 degrees because their house isn't very efficient. I'm very lucky that my house is a new build and it is very efficient. But I'm keeping it at 20. And if I encounter a problem, I'll have to lower it because, well, it's fucking expensive to survive these days. But I need you to know that I'm not saying keep your plants at eight degrees, guys, because that was squeaky bum time for me. But I need you to know that you can keep them lower than you think. If you need to turn off the heating, turn off the heating. Do you know what I mean? If you need to turn off the lights, turn off the lights. At the end of the day, guys, you kind of have to look after yourself and your family. Plants are plants. Do you know what I mean? They, they will be all right. Seriously, and if they're not, just try and save the best ones or try and put them in certain places that's maybe not as bad. You can, there's a lot of things you can do. You can buy like um, temporary kind of like greenhouses, stuff like that. You can not put heating on, but use a grow light if you want to, and the light will give off heat as a byproduct. You can do that. There are a few things you can do, but honestly, I promise you, your plants don't need to be as warm as you think they do to survive. I'm not talking about thrive. I'm talking about surviving. Try not to worry too much. I know it's really stressful. Honestly, it's really stressful. Just try not to worry too much, guys. You can definitely do 17, 16, no problem, because I know it's happening because I've got a friend that's doing it. I think you can go down to 15. I'm sure my parents are letting their house drop to about 14 degrees at night. That's not something I could do because I'm too used to the, the warm temperatures. I think I'd just I'd probably catch a cold, to be honest, because I'm just useless with stuff like that. Um, but it, it can be done, and it is being done. So do whatever you need to do. Try and group your plants together. That helps, obviously. Um, so it's just like a, a small area you've got to heat or you've got to look after. That can help. Don't be having them all over the house if it's too annoying. Just shove them all in one place. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think next year, if the situation's still like this, I think I might do a winter plant care tips sort of video. What am I doing there? Um, I haven't done it this year because honestly, one time, two, I feel like that could do with like B-roll in the house. You know what I mean? There's only so much I can do here. So I'll probably do that next year because I feel like stuff like that is very useful. There's so many videos I want to do next year, but hopefully I can, uh, I can get us to a point where I can do those things. Right. Do I have any? Oh, I do. I have blue roll and I have a phone that's covered in juice. Give me one moment. So yeah, I don't know how the weather is now, obviously, because I'm saying this and it's, I think it's around about the 30th. So I don't know if the weather's got any better, but we are still in winter. So I'm not assuming it's that much better, but honestly, guys, there is hope. At the end of the day, look after yourself. They're just plants. Do you know what I mean? We'll, we'll get through it one way or another. I don't know what the situation is in the US. Admittedly, I have not, I don't think I've even turned the news on in months. Um, so I don't know what cost of living is like worldwide, but I, all I know is in the UK, it's brutal right now. Absolutely horrific. So do you got to do guys. No shame in it. No shame in it at all. Try not to be disheartened by any of the things I've said today. I know I've given you some really shy updates and I am laughing at them because it's just like, oh my God, can this year just end? Like I, I will rise above these things, but it's just, I've got to find the comedy in something, right? I really do. I can't, I can't do this without doing that. So Oh, just put these away, actually. So, yeah, I've, there's been some shit stuff happened, but it's all right. As by the time you see this video, guys, I'll be completely and utterly over it, to be honest. Absolutely. And I'll have some home security, which I, I really would have had it. I would have had it. Um, I just, I just didn't quite get there time-wise. I've not long even moved in. I don't even have a ton of furniture yet or anything like, do you know what I mean? But lesson learned, I guess, so... Motherfuckers can try it next time and they will get caught big time. So, right. That is that. Those are depotted. Took a surprising amount of time, actually. So, that is it for this video. I will see you in the new year. Hopefully, we'll have some new content for you. I'm going to try really hard to get some second channel content started. It might just be some get ready with me's. It might be some skincare. I don't really know yet. But I will get some stuff for you sorted. A couple of other things... 
uh, video wise. I'd like to sort. We'll see how that goes. I'd love to get you some updates on the whole situation, everything else, because I have a big update, but I'm going to make that a little bit more dedicated. The video about the bad seller is definitely coming. I will get on that for you. And yeah, I hope you've had a great festive season and I can't wait to see you in this next new year. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're at least a little bit rested and a little bit plump from Christmas. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.